Hello, LSTAR members. Uh, Bill Matter, your CEO here with uh, LSTAR Chair Kathy Amos. Uh, we're coming to you from Ottawa this time, where we've been here for the last couple of days attending the Canadian Real Estate Association's PAC Days Political Action Committee. We've been here uh, for a couple of pre a number of presentations on different issues uh, facing the housing industry and. We've had a couple of meetings, Kathy. How did yeah. that go? Yeah, so the meetings have gone well. There's been a number of MP meetings. Uh, Peter Franciscatos, uh, Karen Vecchio, Lee, uh, Lee Ann Rue, and I'm sorry, I'm forgetting somebody. Uh, Lindsay Matheson. That's it, They're yeah. meeting with Lindsay right now, as a matter right. of fact. Right, exactly. So it's going really well. We also are taking three specific uh, asks to our MPs this time that will, again, impact the housing uh, industry. Want The first one being um, a emphasis or, or support for um, off-site, we're calling it modular housing, we're changing the name to off-site construction uh, just to provide some incentives for that and uh, help that industry get going to allow some more affordable options for, for, for housing in Canada. And faster. And fast, much faster. Yeah, 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 much faster and more controlled. The product is a little bit more controlled and things like that. So some and good what's the second there. one? Uh, the second one is to develop a secretariat of some sort that will help coordinate all levels of government on housing issues so that the different levels are working on the same thing. So we've got some coordination of effort to try to get some more housing into the supply because yeah. according to CMHC, we need by 2030 about 5.8 million more housing units. So that's a, that's a big kind of ask. A, it's a big number, yeah. they got to do everything they can to get that going. Um, yeah. So yeah, and, and all levels of government need to talk about it and also to include uh, stakeholders in the industry, builders, realtors, uh, planners, all, all of the levels of government, all of the associated uh, stakeholders to make sure that everybody's talking about the same things and moving it forward. Mm -hmm. And the third one was a um, uh, some GST and HST relief for affordable housing and the ownership side, things like Habitat for Humanity and other right. Um, what and rental the units, also rental units and things like that. Yeah, they've, they've allowed just, some for rentals now, but they wanted to expand um, more so. And extend um, it. Extend it and expand it, yeah. And as uh, Habitat for Humanity was one of the presentations this week, uh, they claim or they say that they can build for every hundred uh, homes they provide now, they could uh, build 13 more if, uh, if the GST and HST were uh, waived, so that's a significant number of families that could be could be a, into a, into an affordable housing uh, yeah, absolutely. opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. Thirteen percent increase in, in in what your production. dollar is getting for you, right? So yeah. it, it makes total sense. You're instead of sending thirteen percent on tax, you know, put it towards the end product that's hopefully going to uh, benefit, you know, clients or or people that need somewhere to live. Absolutely. So those are the three main issues. We've had a number of um, presentations. We had uh, the housing minister uh, was here yesterday. He did a very good presentation. Did. did a shout out to London, which I think was was yeah. was great. Um, MP uh, Karen Vecchio was on a panel today, uh, talking about civil discourse in politics, which is an interesting topic, mm -hmm. um, and a number of other really uh, pertinent and interesting. Uh, topics. So we've had a busy busy couple of days and looking yeah. forward to um, making a difference here in uh, Ottawa. Yeah. And at home. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> that's the that's the that's the goal, right? So hopefully more people get involved and uh, we can move some of these initiatives forward. All right, I think that's it for now. We we plan to bring you another update tomorrow uh, where the Canadian Real Estate Association will be voting on their plan to uh, move realtor.ca to a uh, for-profit company. So we'll let you know what how that turns out tomorrow. Yep. And then until then, we're going to go enjoy this beautiful weather. We understand it's gorgeous in London as well. So hope you guys have a great day. Take care. Bye.